everyone welcome to beauty in the garden i'm t in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i go about dehydrating my chives so i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video so what we're going to go ahead and do is try to make sure that we are preserving our we can go ahead and preserve our food for the long haul so let's go ahead and get dehydrated all right, so here are our chives that we harvest in the previous video. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and take off our burlap string and we're gonna go ahead and clean them up and get them ready for our dehydrator. So here is my dehydrator. I do have on here a, a little metal rack that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna put that back on to my dehydrator. Now me, my dehydrator does have a temperature gauge and I'm gonna put my temperature at roughly between 120 and 130. So I'll be back, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get them ready for the dehydrator. They're nice and clean and beautiful. So now let's go ahead and chop them up. Now I roughly go through and still clean up them even more. Now I do chop them up quite small. If you guys see here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle them. We always want to leave a center in the middle of our dehydrator. And why we want to do that is we want to continue to have that airflow. You want to spread them out nice and even. Now with you cutting them up so small, they don't take long to dehydrate. And they will last for a very long time. Now with all my things that I pretty much dehydrate, I put them in a glass jar. Now you can find reasonable glass jars, full grade jars at the Dollar Tree. And sometimes you can run into it at Walmart for a very uh, decent price. Okay, so before I turn on my dehydrator, I am going to go ahead and sit them on my towel and I'm going to go ahead and let them, you guys, uh, dry before I go ahead and turn on my dehydrator. So I'm going to set them out and let them dry just a little bit to get some of the water off of them and then uh, I'll be back.
Okay, they should be good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place my racks right on top of my dehydrator. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my dehydrator. And I'm gonna put it on roughly between. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a piece of aluminum foil, fold it in half, just so that the aluminum foil has structure. Now I am using heavy duty aluminum foil. We're going to go ahead and pour out all of our chives onto the aluminum foil. And the aluminum foil is going to help us guide our chives into the jar. Now you can use anything you may want, but I like to use aluminum foil to go ahead and glide it in there. And I can always reuse this. Now we put it on a very low temperature so that the leaves of our chives will not turn brown. It actually can burn your chives if you have your heat up too high. So I put it between 125, I mean 120 and 130. If you look at it, it's so pretty, it's bright green. We did not lose any color and that means we did not lose any flavor. Now I am thinking about going ahead and planting up another pot so I can have a little bit more um, chives, but uh, I'll work on that. Look how pretty you guys, our chives turn out. I hope your chives turn out just as pretty as this. So now what I'm gonna do is take a cotton ball and place it under my jar. And this is gonna help with any moisture this is what I do. You do not have to if you don't want to, but that's what I do, okay? Now we go ahead and place our lid on. Now right here at the top of the lid, you can go ahead and place the date. Now I do have stickers that I prefer to use, so I will be doing it that way. Or sometimes I will use a wax crayon and uh, mark the top. Okay, everyone, we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. It looked absolutely amazing. So I hope you guys are preserving your food. And like I always tell you guys, remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.